Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and another video. In this video, we're gonna be doing something that I've done before, but with a different color palette. And don't worry, I've heard you guys. You guys don't wanna see any more blooms. I got it. Okay, so we're not gonna do a bloom in this video. Today it's gonna to be an open cut pour, and I took one of the more popular comments from my most previous video. It was from DL Tyler, and they said, I wanna see something with different shades of purple. So we're gonna do an open cut pour with silicone with doxazine purple, brilliant purple, quinacrinone magenta, medium magenta, and then a metallic black to kind of stop the colors from intermingling with each other too much. So without further ado, I'm gonna slap this base coat on here real quick, and we're gonna get to the pour. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys' quarantine is going well. I'm trying my best to stay busy just doing things that I enjoy. And I'm pretty sure that my fridge is tired of looking at me right now because I'm, I'm gonna say every time I walk up to it now, it's probably like, what the hell are you doing? What do you want now? But, you know, doing things that I love, trying to keep busy. I hope you guys are doing the same. And we're gonna get right into this pour. All right, so there's one to two drops of this coconut oil hair serum in each one of these colors. And I'm gonna start layering the colors. So I've always loved this color, the dioxazine purple. I think it's just a very, it almost looks like it's a black when you look at it on the, on the screen right here. But in comparison to the actual black, you can kind of see it is just a slight bit uh, dark or lighter than that. So the ratio of these paints was a two to one Floetrol to uh, paint mixture. I'm kind of dripping it in from a higher angle. That way the colors kind of push their way through each other. This is gonna look pretty good. So what are the, some of the things you guys are doing with your family since you have all this extra time now? Kind of curious. Because right now is a good time to spend time, forge those relationships and actually spend some quality time that you don't normally get. Yeah, being out of work kind of, it, it kind of sucks, but now you at least you have that chance to spend some real good time with your family and, and do a lot of fun things because still there's quite a few parks that are open. There's quite a few, um, there's still quite a few things you can do. You can already see some of those cells starting to pop up there. Those are looking nice. I like open cup pours. They're probably a close second to my flip cups. I just enjoy them. I mean, instead of wasting the rest of this base coat here, I'll use this black as well. I may not have said in the beginning of the video, the one, the, the black that I'm primarily using is a metallic black from Artist Loft. Um, just because it's a metallic, it's gonna add a nice little sh extra uh, sheen to the colors That's pretty cool. We're already starting to get a bunch of multicolored cells just popping up through that silicone's, you know digging its way through that base coat Looks really nifty. I'm liking it a lot So just like the previous video if you guys give me ideas, I'll take the you know the top rated idea however many likes it gets and whatnot. Whichever idea you guys want to see the most, I will make a video of that because, I mean, this channel wouldn't be anything without you guys. And that's basically what I'm doing this for. I'm painting so that you guys can have some something to watch, something to enjoy. Um, 
and if I can help you guys, you know, fight, help you guys fight this battle that we're we're going through right now with boredom and all this nothing to do, I would love to help you if I can. I'm gonna have to tilt this canvas because it's the cup is wanting to go where it wants to go, and I don't I'm not ready for it to push all the way over to the side yet. I don't want to tilt it too much. I don't want to start stretching all those cells yet. Yeah, maybe I'll lift up this side a little bit so the paint can start pushing out that end. But yeah, these colors are looking really cool together. Especially with that stark black background. Really nice. I kind of want to try a wrecked ring pour. So I do like the way those look. But either way, whatever you guys want to see, I'm more than down to, to try it. If it's something I, I know one of you gave me a suggestion to do a, um, a reverse dip. I've never done it. And I don't think I've even ever seen it done. So you got you gave me a suggestion to check out a few videos. I'm definitely going to do that. Uh, I'm all about trying new things. If anything, I'll be the guinea pig, and you can learn from me what not to do. If that makes sense. Then IG wanted me to do a, a larger canvas, so I do have one. Uh, I think it's a 24 by 36 sitting in my garage from a commission I did a few months ago. And it's still blank, doesn't have anything on it. And I could definitely do that in a future video also. All right, this paint is doing what it wants to do now. Yeah, that metallic black is creating a nice little sheen. Looks really, really nice looking. It is kind of nice that those cups flow into one side because the one thing I don't like about the open cup pours is, you know, you can stretch it and leave the cup there, but eventually you're going to have to take that cup off and then you have all these perfect concentric circles on the inside and I think I feel like it kind of jacks up the look of it. So I typically try to drag it over to a side and make like a little swipe out of the cup and then stretch it. But I'm liking the uh, the way these colors are intermingling with each other. Looks really cool. Well, that's about it for the colors, guys. So let's uh, before I get my hands all all messy, let me slap these gloves on. exactly what I was looking for. So you know, I got that nice little swipe in there. I'm gonna take this torch to it real quick. Activate a little bit of silicone. Try to pop any surface bubbles that are there before we begin stretching. Oh, that's really making that swipe look cool. I don't think I want to keep any negative space in this one this time. 
So I'm, I'm going to let it flow over the corners. There we go. Bringing it back. Bring it back to the center so these cells can open up a little bit. Now I'm going to bring it down to the, this corner down here. That metallic black with that really dark purple. And these these purples are looking amazing. I'm loving the way that dioxazine purple is just popping off of the magentas. Wow. That's crazy looking with all them cells popping up in there. That is gorgeous. Alright, so I got to take it down. We're going to lose a little bit of this swipe. But I don't want to have a blank part of the canvas down there. So we lose just a little bit of the swipe. And then we'll recenter this thing. That looks gorgeous. I know that the, the overhead camera is probably not showing how that metallic black is really uh, popping off the canvas, but it's it's really nice looking. So let me edit these corners real quick. Make sure everything's evenly covered. And then I'm going to bring you guys down for a close-up. See, now you can kind of see that metallic black and how it added a shimmer to all the colors around it. The overhead camera just wasn't really doing that any justice. That's crazy looking right there. And it has that kind of galaxy Milky Way look to it. And this is that little swipe area from the cup. These colors look amazing together. So thank you very much, DL Tower.